Yeah, that that's something that the reason I ask is because I, I don't think it's a coincidence that people that have, whether it's an injury early on in their life and they are fully able-bodied, or if it's someone that has been born with a condition, that level of physical awareness that happens in the body, and especially when you mature, like I was very similar. I didn't probably have the awareness when I was younger and I didn't know any different, but now older muscle mass, you feel the asymmetries and you feel the differences. And that is where my level of awareness in my mind and my my mindfulness practice, I think kickstarted because I am just incredibly self-aware of my body. But then that transcends into the awareness of thought, into the awareness of actions, the awareness of others. And I, I do not think it's a coincidence that many athletes who have had that hold those characteristics as well and i can see that in you i can see that in your work you've gone into well-being work you've gone into a lot of leadership work and and that that need to help people stems from almost being able to lead yourself understand yourself because then that yeah. can you can lead others through that that's yeah it's just something that i definitely keep picking up and you're aligning with that so so much very much very much so and i love the combination that both you and i have lewis is that um, you know, we've we've had a difference in our physicality that we've had to learn to to own and be proud of and love and and for me to be able to learn to lead that whole self everywhere I went, you know, it has been an incredible outcome. At the same time, it's I've also got that high performance, that success outcome of of winning gold and 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 working out how to take um, my performance to the best level I could. And so, you where I spend a lot of my time in the corporate world is is helping people to lead themselves because I think it's come in a lot more now. Um, you know, most programs have a, a component of well-being or self-leadership. I've been in this space for 22 years and in the early days, you know, people didn't really think it or corporates didn't really think it was the responsibility of their organisation to develop their leaders in that sense. It was more like we'll add on the frameworks. Um, so it's been, you know, the leadership frameworks and, and not really help them lead themselves, but it's, it's so wonderful where most of my work is helping leaders to lead themselves first and then to understand that if they can do that well, that ripple effect of being able to lead others um, is incredibly powerful. I think there's, you know, one book I read, um, I've, met, I've read many books, but I really like Bill George's book called True North. And Bill uh, is a lecturer out of Harvard and, you know, he talks about that we all have we all have a story, right? We, we all know um, mine's a bit more well-known and so is yours, Lewis, because our success as athletes. But everyone has a story and um, he talks about, you know, your your times of difficulties or, cri- or crisis being like crucibles and which is that medieval sort of vessel in, that you would actually use to melt down different metals and then something out of it would transform and he talks about that in leadership, if you don't deal with your own stories or your own crisis or your difficulties, they will come back to you at some point through someone else's story if you choose to be in leadership. And so, you know, as much as it's not, it's hard, it's hard to go in and and to navigate through that. Like for me to love and accept and take my whole self everywhere, that took years. You know, it wasn't just like overnight, it happened. It took years of hard work and and, you know, professionals coming in to really help me power my best. But what Bill talks about and what I know and what you would have seen is that people that actually spend the time to really understand and lead themselves become extraordinary leaders because of their their crucible mm-hmm. moments and, yeah, and their learnings. 